Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl MJ here. I know it's been a while, I know, but as you can see in this video so far, it looks like I was up to a couple of things. In July, my friends and I decided to go to Ghana, so we were headed to JFK Airport to catch our flight. And I hope you guys really get to enjoy this video. I know I've already done a Ghana vlog or two or three, actually three parts, but here's another one for you guys, so you guys can watch my friends and I take on Ghana. So after hours of waiting, um, we finally boarded the flight. Michael, how are you feeling right now? Good. Hold on, let me see if I can. Are you, are you happy we're finally on this flight? I can't wait to go. Anyway, I'm just glad we're finally on this flight. Hold on. Sure, where? No, what you said. Yeah. flew Emirates which was great but it was not a direct flight to Ghana it was actually connection and I totally prefer direct flight which is only like 10 hours this was like 15 hours in total so we headed to Milan got off the plane there got on and then headed to Dubai we are also the weather conditions for a To the same face from the other. Make sure you have seen that. We will give you another update on the weather and the arrivals of the bike. It's a video. Oh, nice. We're going to wait at the bike. <laughs> No, we don't have time. Y'all just come on, y'all. Model walks. Go ahead, Darielle. Go ahead, Harriet. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody's coming.
Uh, to be honest, I'm okay. I feel like when I get to Ghana, I'm just gonna be mad jet lag. Okay, so we finally made it to Dubai. I had to come sit somewhere else because it was weird, like taking a video around everyone and walking. But we got here, we took a shuttle, we went to gate A, we found out that we were at the wrong gate when we looked at the board. Um, it's a good thing we double checked because first it was written in Arabic and then it changed into English and then we saw that, oh, Accra, the flight to Accra is actually gate C which i honestly thought was like a couple walks away but we had to take another shuttle kind of like the way we came like working our way backwards and then we walked a minute you guys will see in the video how far we walked um not really because i'll snip it out but this has been a long journey i am exhausted i just want to go sleep for as long as i can and just relax and then eat um dubai to accra i think is about Eight minutes I have to confirm that I might be totally wrong but yeah um, this has been quite the journey I think in total I don't even know how many hours it's been maybe I don't know I'll have to confirm that and put it somewhere in this video but this has been a long journey I think next time I'm just gonna do a flight a flight a straight flight and as you guys saw it is beautiful in this airport. Unfortunately, we can't go outside because we don't have a visa. Hey, Darielle. <laughs> They're at the lounge right there, over there. Yeah. All right, so I'll stay tuned when we land and um, everything, but every everyone was so nice. Emirates is such, 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 such a nice um, airline. Like, I really, really loved it. And the... Um, flight attendants were so sweet on our second flight from Milan to Dubai we gave the flight attendants a thank you card because honestly they were really nice and we know that it was a long flight so all right enough talking bye come down the stairs and then get like a little ride the rest of the way and then we walked around but this is so nice like this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm getting <laughs> So our ride arrived and he was so awesome to take us to our destination. The friends that we're traveling with have family who are just so loving and so willing to host us during our Ghana trip, which we we're headed to a papa. Hopefully I said that right. But yeah, that's where we stayed and this is us heading there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 
pem pem i jalebe pem pem i jalebe pem pem i jalebe i slap police for your case i go to war for your case i go to court for your case i climb the bridge for your case and i want for your case i punch the judge for your case anything you want baby that's for you baby Look at Jeremiah. Ladies, if you go to Ghana, it'll be a total waste, I repeat, a total waste to not get your hair braided for such an affordable price. So you know getting your hair braided here in America is almost like an arm and a leg. It's like $100, depending on the length, but even if not, it's still expensive. In Ghana, it's a dollar to five cities. So in total everything costs about maybe i don't know if i should even say it it's a secret no i'm joking it costs about i would say in us dollars like 12 dollars to get my hair braided which is 60 cities <laughs> I totally forgot to get the name of the hair salon that we got our hair done at but I believe it's called natural kinky hair salon <laughs> something like that but that's where we went and it was right around the area it was not far from where we stayed so it was totally convenient and we could like literally walk there Something like this, you do it back home and it costs about 
$120.50. So this is saving you even more than 50%. Exactly. Wow. Ghana's the place to be, y'all. Exactly. You better come to Ghana. Guys, we had so much fun at this spot called the Purple Pub. My friend's brother-in-law took us. It was awesome. If you like nightlife, if you like food, if you like to chillax and just listen to some music, this is definitely the spot for you. This one I got do with the job da Me I no get time I did da ba da 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 cover my face calling me la ba da Big man with no be where I ba da Anything we had to do, I try to get to on my way. Yeah. Plenty, 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 so far we be faced. Just to make sure money day. But my people can go say, I know one buy, I know one die, I know one buy me. I want enjoy, I want chop life, I want buy motor, I want build house, I still want a G wagon, or oh, the Bentley, uh, the garden, ride with me, uh, I know fee. Different things, them happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flow like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Known as a king, king, you know it. King already, already, you know it. Top everything, everything, you know it. King already, already, you know it. My body, so got a king body. Body gon' shine, bling, bling, body. Calling on the shots, ring, ring, body. Crown on your head, got a king body. Known as a king, you a king, you know it. Already, my baby, you know it. Pop everything, everything, you know it. Hey guys, so finally I get to have a little like one on one time with y'all. Um, we are in Ghana, it's so crazy that we're here. Um, this is my view right now, so this is what I'm looking at. There's <laughs> a lot of rooftops right now and trees, but um. Last night was pretty interesting. Um, we did have fun and I think we all needed it because um, we were just like sitting home and we're still trying to like settle in and settle down. I've unfortunately gotten kind of sick already while we've been here. I think I ate too much the other day. It was just a lot of overload. I killed the food and the next day I was very nauseous. I woke up. Um, Use the bathroom and then I threw up. <laughs> so that was fun, but um, fun. But honestly, it's it's been really awesome because of the family that we're staying with. My friends, their their family members are just so hospitable and so caring and loving, and they really want us to enjoy ourselves out right here, and they don't want us to worry too much. So even though we've been getting a little sick and our tummies have been aching just a little bit, they've been they've been taking care of us. So we're having a blast. <laughs> Somebody decided to have a party like so early this morning from the get go. It's 8 a.m. I think.
special place where you guys sell it? Where is where, where are you right now? So you can let them know. Uh, 